been load shedding. Hello. Oh, you yeah, yeah. load shedding. You're shedding. Yes, load. load shedding. They took your camera away. Fuck, really? Oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> well, is that a South African issue or what? <laughs> 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 I love my angel. <laughs> yes, it's Chris. Welcome to the Hotbox, mate. It's yeah. been a while. Happy New Year. Thanks for having me. So, you, did you hear the preamble for the last minute? <coughs> I did hear a bit, yes. Thanks very much. Thanks right. for having me on here and promoting um, the Bathurst show where cannabis yeah, is going to have a place. There's two categories for it. Um, on the 3rd and 4th of April, it's going to be amongst hundreds of other plants, vegetables, farm produce, um, and you can enter it in two different cannabis sativa categories. One under pot plants, cut flowers, and the other category is um, farm produce. What plants? And did you say cut? Did you say cut flowers? So literally dried bud. Yeah, I'm thinking of doing a bouquet of, of dried buds as well, just for different type of. Are we going like Chelsea Garden Show style with the with the display? You can't just be like bring a bud and be like, yeah, there's my nug. It's gonna be like a wreath. The Kew Gardens <laughs> of weed. Put some flowers. You, you can get. I mean, there's there's huge flowers. displays with regards to art. Um, there's children's out there from all the different schools. There's bands. There's it's huge. It's thousands and thousands of people attend. And yeah, I mean, it's uh, going to be amongst. Sorry. It, it, it's, you know, when we're very used to go to cannabis events where there's no cannabis. So will all the cannabis be in a pot growing, or will it be a place for? Addicts like me to go satiate my appetite for hallucinogenics and smoke behind the bike sheds or something. No, definitely not. I mean, this is going to be, it's, it's fairly conservative. It's really showing the, the farming aspect of cannabis with um, genetics, um, soil companies, grow companies, uh, things like that. And then you're going to have your plants in display either dried um, or in pot plants growing. Live, live plants. Okay, so are we allowed to juice them? Juice them in what sense? <laughs> Ju oh, ju juice them, yes, juice you can bring them. smoothies. Bring smoothies. Let's do do M smoothies and um, CBD enemas. We could do we're going to have lots of th we're going to have lots of CBD there and him. Nice, because it's the only thing you can have. Yeah. Fuck's sake. Urgh. Anyway, moving on. Uh, we're, we're, we're really hoping, hoping to bring down a bunch of stoners and we're probably going to uh, enter our own plants. We're 3D printing them now. Because if it's about their show, I mean, they're not really going to know, are they? What do you mean? They're not really going to know? Well, if I 3D print a couple of really staunch plants and just scenic them up a bit, and they won't even know that they are plastic, will they? they don't, it's a, it's an agricultural show. <laughs> I think you can throw a Trojan horse like that into the show. It'll be interesting. Shit, hey, Chris. Already reviewed and... Hello. Hey, good evening. Again, <laughs> back. Oh, we fuck dropped. I fuck, I thought we got rid of it. Not my lunch. <laughs> it was quite romantic just sitting here with candles. Um, it was awesome. Oh, there you go. By the, way, by the way, the Haunted House is booked for you guys. Thank you no so kidding. much. Oh, fantastic. Thank you, you see, it's, Thank you so much. it's manifesting already. Because, you know, truth be known, we were there for two nights and we never saw it in daylight because we were presentations and stuff. It was madness. And the day after that, you guys left, I remember now, to get yeah. back for the judgment. Mm. Yeah. That was the very last time Myrtle and I ever did a presentation <clears throat> prior to the judgment. You were the last yeah. venue. So yeah. there's a hell of a you thing. You sped off. I think it, yeah, it came sometime earlier in the morning. Yeah. The news. Um, where were we? So tell me, um, apart from having the weed on display, you, if you have an influx of stoners, what else have you got for them? Oh, there's a totally dedicated cannabis area, arena, where vendors can um, rent ground and, and um, erect their own gazebos. Or there's going to be wooden huts erected at a, a bit more uh, bigger cost. Starts off at about 1,200 Rand for a 3 by 3 meter space. Okay. And, um, yeah, there will be indoor, there will be good flow to it, and it's, it's going to be a cornered off area behind the heavy machinery. 
like tractors, oh, all those. Tractors, <laughs> Don't let us babe. anywhere near those things when we start, right. eh? Hey? Oh, okay. Cool. That's beautiful. Things are looking That's up. That's absolutely and beautiful. <clears throat> And you, you know, your part of the world has got some pretty extreme cops at times. There, eh? they're quite out there. The coastal crew, they're 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 pretty brutal. What do they think about all of this? I'm not too sure, to be honest. But um, <laughs> Good answer. They, they were welcoming last year. They were they they didn't see, seem to have a problem with this. I signed addendums um, by entering cannabis, and when I left, and I had my two winning bushes on the back of a bucky, I drove past six police officers waving and laughing. That's beautiful. Ah, for, you know, for, oh, for, for, for like an OG Classic. activist like you, that must have been oh. quite a buzz. Eh? It would have given me a buzz to do it as well. It would have been great to have a camera running there. Yeah. Oh, that's a moment. GoPro that shit. You should have a desk cam for shit like that. Well, hopefully again, uh, we see that kind of um, professionalism this year. I mean, I'm hoping there's going to be 10, 20 plants entered at least, and it's going to be a competition, cannabis competition. Yeah. And uh, where can we get an entry form? Um, you can download them on, online um, through bathoshow.co.za, oh, cannabispromoter.com. Right. Uh, I'm going to load a special page for cannabis vendors, um, accommodation, 14, okay. 420 friendly accommodation. Oh, nice. um, extra, extra bits and pieces. So I'll probably do that in the next few days. And yeah, hopefully it's well attended and supported. Well, I see on the thread there, Chris, that uh, Russ Warren, he figures he's going to bring up his cherry fire <coughs> cookies. And that's quite a dank looking little Hi. plant. So here we go. The Eastern Cape's representing. Maybe we can he's steal. Down. He's going down. He doesn't even need to bring it. There's a winner. There's, there's a window ready, Russ. Oh, jeez. <laughs> wow. Shots fired. Hey. Double day you to enter. Bring bang, it bang, down. Bring bang, it. Bang. <laughs> so if the whole thing's rigged, so we're going to do like five grand in diesel for a rigged show already. Oh, no. Yeah. No, it's definitely not going to be rigged. Um, there's going to be some awesome judges. Jeremy Acton should be one. All righty. I'll, I'll, I'll let you know about the others later on. Okay. Um, as well as the culturists, as well as the, the agricultural society. They'll be judging the plants on aroma, structure, um, growing methods. I'm sure, I'm sure there'll be a lot more university uh, students there at the agricultural show this year than any other time in the last 200 years of its history. Well, if, if any sort of... If, Last year is anything to go by. There's going to be a huge stream of a younger crowd, a younger generation of growers and activists, and oh, I'm really looking forward to it. It did it last year. It was a crowd puller, really. Okay, well, it looks like it's game on from Warren, and um, well, we're going to spread the word. That's why we got you on a little hangout here. We're going to spread the word by video because we think it should be really well supported because it is a groundbreaking event it and it should kick lots of other towns into gear because when they see the figures of what they turned over at this year's show, it'll be different to last year's, I can assure you. Be cool. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, Joel. Right, thank man. you very much, Dan, Baz, Joe, thank you. Sweet, my friends. Good night. Hope the lights come back on. Come back to the 21st century, yeah, brother. Come back to the 21st century. <laughs> Oh, God, it's fucking out there, isn't it? Seeing people on computers doing 4G with candles. I mean, how fucked is this, you know? It's like, it's mole. How did he do that? If he's on candle lights... Starter. He must have had a battery bank. He must have. And he's wanted... lucky that the tower has a fucking battery in it that works. Well, yes. yeah. Because that's the worst thing. When yeah. the fucking power goes off and the cell phones go off and then you're in the cave of Stone Age. Oh, yeah. you mean when one of the... One of, you have to go off. One of cell phone towers, yeah. Oh, okay. Because they've been going on and off so much, the fucking batteries are bust. So oh, they don't just... Okay. <laughs>